Welcome to WSUS Session 4. In this session, we're going to be looking at client-side targeting and how we will specify the WSUS server location. Client-side targeting allows us to assign updates to client computers based on group policy. We're now going to go into the WSUS console. The first thing that we want to do here is click on Options. Once we're in Options, we want to come over to the right side and we actually want to go and click on Computers. In this dialog box, we're going to be choosing how we will assign computers to groups. So, we must select the second option, Use Group Policy or Registry Settings on Computers. We click on OK. The very next thing that we need to do is to create the computer groups. Now, we're going to be creating two computer groups. One is going to be called Desktop Computers and the other is going to be called Laptop Computers. The reason that we might want to create two groups is that we want to place different updates on one group and other updates on the second group. So to create the groups, we have to expand computers and then we come to all computers and we want to right click all computers and say add computer group. We're going to start with the desktop computers. And we're going to add that. Then we actually want to create a second group. So we're going to right click on all computers a second time. Click on add computer group. And this time we're going to give the group the name laptop computers. And we click add. So what we have done here is that we created two groups. Let's expand computers and we can see that we have here a desktop computer group and laptop computer group. Under the computer section, we see we have a tab here called on assigned computers. Once the client computers connect to WSUS server, they are all going to be placed in this group called on assigned computers. If we had chosen to do, let's go back to options here. If we had chosen use the update services console, then instead of doing group policy, we would actually have to take the computers manually out of the on assigned computers group and place them manually in the desktop computers group or the laptop computers group. But that's not what we're doing today. The option that we're going to use is the one that we chose, which is use group policy or registry settings to assign updates to groups. So to do that, we actually need to go into group policy. So we're going to click on group policy management and we're going to create a GPO. We're going to right click on Group Policy Objects, click on New, and we're going to call this GPO Client Targeting. We say OK. Now, once we have created the GPO and given it a name, we want to right click on that GPO, click on Edit. Go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, Windows Components. And we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom to Windows Update. In Windows Updates, we're actually going to look for the policy we need, which is Enable Client-Side Targeting. 
So let's click on Enable Double Site Targeting. Let's open it up a bit. And here we go. We click on Enable to enable that policy. And let's see what the policy says. The policy says that we're specifying the target group name or names that should be used to receive updates from an intranet Microsoft update service. So over here on the left hand side, we actually have to type the name of the computer group that we created in the update services console. So we're going to type desktop computers. And if we want to add more than one group, we can put a semicolon and we can put the name of the other group. So we're going to go do that now. Laptop computers. So one thing that I want to make clear here is this. Whether or not we are using group policy or using the Windows Update Services console, to assign updates to groups, we still have to create the groups that we need within the console. So once we have done that, let's, let's go back here and make sure that it went through. Once we have done that, you want to click on OK. Now the second thing that you have to do is you have to go to this policy called Specify Intranet Update Services Location. And you want to open the policy and you want to enable that policy because this is a policy that we're going to use so that you will know, the client computers will know what update server they need to go to to get updates. So it gives you the format that you need to use that you can see down here in the example. So we will type HTTP colon slash slash. And let's say our server was called local update server. Let's just correct that there. So we have to put that in there because if we don't, then the client computers will not know the location of the update server. And there's a box below that that says Internet Statistics Server. The very same name that you have here for the update server is the same server that you're going to put in the second option here. So we're going to copy and paste that same server location. And one can't go without the other. Remember, both of these have to be identical. Once you have enabled the specified Internet Microsoft Update Service location and you have put the server name both for the SUS server and for the statistics server, which are the same, both of these are the same server, then we need to click OK. That is the end of this WSUS. Session 4, and in summary, remember that what we did for this session is we actually created a group policy enabling client site targeting. And when we completed that, we went to the specified Internet Microsoft Update Service location and we actually typed in the name of the WSUS server and the actual statistic server which is the same as the WSUS server. Thank you for listening.